Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today is February 27, 2019. We have a very special episode of the Truth to Power podcast. We got my boy Steph on here. Yo, what it is, what it do. So you know it's going to be very, very ratchet. Very ratchet. Very honest, very true conversation. Oh, my God. Um, this one kill y'all, man. Hey, you know my the honesty, I'm not used to this. Yeah, I'm not used to this. Hey, what what really what really kind of spurred the conversation? Where where this whole conversation I guess started from essentially. I mean, I said the whole thing, but starting our group chat this morning, and the conversation initially started from uh, that photo of my man's Billy Porter. Shout out to him. With the uh, mm. with the tux dress, hey, let's talk about the tux dress mm. as a fashion. Let's not even talk about the all the other stuff. Can we just talk about as a fashion choice the tux dress. Like, I, you got to respect the fact that the man is really ready for anything. Mm. At any point, he can rip the bottom half off and have a bottom half tux shit situation. Nigga. Get a basketball game cracking at any point. He can rip the fucking top half off and have like a halter top you situation. You know, when I first seen it, I was just like, who is carrying it in the back? <laughs> like, like it's, I know I know, it's somebody, it's like three or four people carrying that dress in the back. Hey, that's true. I do want to see the walking. Like, that's not some what? shit. That shit is dragging. This nigga is like an all black peacock, my nigga. Like, <laughs> it's, it's weird. And man. that nigga spent probably, let me not say he spent, but that dress is probably at, I'm at least worth thousands of dollars. And that shit for sure was dragging on the red carpet. Bro, what, what is going on today, man? I'm, I'm, so what is going on today, Steph? What, what, it, it's, it's wild what, out here, what, what? Fam. We, do you Do you see something happening, Steph? Am I wild? Let me know if I'm... If I got the tinfoil hat on, what 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 is what's going on right now? What are you thinking? We're, we're seeing the the homosexual the, the homosexual influence right now in social media and just everyday life right now, just influencing everything. Like like in and, and the black women are are literally standing for it. Like like legit, damn, I'm I'm about to get on Jada right now, Phil, because that don't make no sense. Yo, for Jada, me. Jada like, have come triggered. on, man. Jada having triggered, but. This is the thing, though. This is the thing because it's a fine line, and you know what? I, you know, I'm gonna sound like white people right now. I have homosexual friends. I have family members that are gay. You know, I'm gonna have to sound like I'm gonna be on my white shit right now. But the thing about it is this. When I think when Jada, well, Jada Piggin was getting a lot of hell actually because she went on IG and she, um, you know, she was in major support of this. And my thing is this. Every I take everything. My thing is not personal. My thing is not attacking no people, no group, nobody. I love everybody, especially black folks. My thing is this though: what benefit is it for our people to see this image? How does it's, it benefit? It's none. It's none at all. You know, and 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 for the entertainers, that's the problem. The entertainers are the ones that's really influencing this. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Let's like like to a T, you know what I'm saying? Then there's another higher level than that. We're not. That's that's a little too. Shit. Let's just talk about the know, entertainment level first. Yeah. Because like, that's it's, a, it's weird, man. That's a major thing that I think, and I talk about a lot of times. Is fucking us over as black people is that we put entertainers into the position that other people put politicians and real leadership and. And real leaders, like where somebody would be groomed to be a a Korean politician their entire life. And based on that, they would give that person credibility in the Korean community to speak on their their issues. We let a person go through acting school or or sell a lot of drugs in their neighborhood and shoot a lot of people up and spend six years in jail. Then come out and tell us that they have credibility within our community to tell us how a functioning community should work. (laughs) (laughs) You, uh, you know nothing the about the community. You don't know shit about a function of the household, bro. You, 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 you put some country. money down in the community and don't, and, and that's it. You will never come back. Like, and I, I think the reason, I think the reason why, what it is. I think why we're so sensitive to it. Let me not say sensitive, because you're not know, a typical you know, word, but the reason why I'm going to say I'm sensitive to the situation is that we both grew up with fathers. Right. You know, we never seen our father come home in a fucking dress on. So, like, what? So, when we, I say it all the time, like, we grew up with, and I messed, you know, I must say I messed Stephon's father. I know Stephon's father. I didn't know Stephon's father. Both our fathers have passed now. Anyways, at the time when I knew him, Stephon's dad is not a, he's just like my pops. Just like anybody, a regular father, you know. They could joke, they could clown, they could be serious, they could be right. whatever they need to be, but they're not putting on no 
they not dress. putting on no dress, whatever. <laughs> yeah, like, I, remember, I remember my pop said say he didn't like uh, when uh, Martin Lawrence did the uh, did the Big Mama thing. Like uh, you Mama know what's funny? Thing. He was like, he was I like, look at all that shit now. This is ridiculous. I'm not watching this. Mm-hmm. I look at it in hindsight now, and I'm like, damn, it's funny how a lot of the things that I was enjoying because yeah, Big Mama's house, and it was mm-hmm. another one, not Tyler Perry. Mm-hmm. It was another movie. Was it all oh, White Chicks? Oh, I was white like, that's chick, funny because yeah, yeah. I was well, White Chicks too. Like, I was enjoying the fuck out of White Chicks. I was like, ah, oh, damn, they did like, put mm-hmm. on the dress and the white face. The, the, the only thing, the only creative thing that I would give someone like that to that nature was Eddie Murphy with Nutty uh, Nutty Professor. Or oh, he, yeah, yeah, but yeah. but, but see, like, but it's creative yeah. though. See, that's the thing too, because like, that, he, the way Eddie Murphy did, I know people gonna kill him, right. but Chef, we didn't even know that was Eddie Murphy. Right, <laughs> right, right. You, you <laughs> see that as a regular that black family. Like, like, damn, <laughs> you, kinda, you are talented, Eddie. You you talented, talented, Eddie. He said, "Fuck it, I ain't paying none of these niggas. I'm, I'm gonna play all so. seven of these niggas." <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Eddie Murphy, fam. No, but what you were doing with that creativity, I see. You know why yeah. why you can do it, but if you're doing it like singular, like you're the only one, like what, what's going on? Well, I'm looking right now at my computer screen, and I'm looking at a man with a goddamn vampire outfit on, like a vampire ball dress. And Jada Pinkett Smith, the comment to this is this capital letters is how you shut down capital letters a red mm. carpet he should get best dressed woman and best dressed what? man of all time now first of all if this is a thing too because i don't know fam a lot of the gay dudes that i know and i'll just have to do that many gay dudes but oh, the gay man. men that i do know uh, these men honestly have an issue with being called a female or a woman mm. so jada might be out here being problematic fam we got problematic jada saying he should first of all he jada do not assume we know that mm. in the community we cannot assume he let's not get into the pronoun game oh all right just, just be careful Ooh, jada and then look and then you gonna say he should be the dress dress woman well this is not a woman this is a man this is a man that's what that, that, he is a boy let's just break down that let, portion. let's just say this right now if he had to go use the bathroom yeah when he hits this uh he hits that stall or whatever they got he gotta fit that dress in fam <laughs> Yeah. At the end of the day, you gotta fit that dress. <laughs> yeah. that, that dress might not be built first. <laughs> Man, you gotta take it off, whatever, and, and hit that stall. Don't bro, give me that bullcrap. I mean, be honest with you, bro. A lot of the thing, a lot of the things about the choices and the stuff that are made in this today's. I was thinking about it today, man. I really feel like in this world, my mindset, our mindset, a lot of our, well, obviously, me and my friends all kind of got the same mindset. I feel like our mindset does not conform with this current world, this current society. And what trips me out is that I feel like it's a logical mindset. Like, I feel like we think like, well, it's just not convenient to put a dress in here. So like, that's why we do it for function. It's just, we were just taught different. Yeah, but today's world, it's like everybody's doing shit for the sake of just doing it. (laughs) And that trips me out. They're like, well, I like, like, for example, like, I think it's for clout. But it's females and males. Like a female would look at a man and be like, "Well, I know that you know this is typically a man thing to do, and but I want to do it just for the sake to say that I did it and I can do it too." But I'm like, "But that does that make you happy?" Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you feel after? Yeah, you got men that do the same shit. Like, Mm -hmm. um, like I think about like even like the the whole like transgender women are are what is like that movement? Transgender women are women, and I'm just like, I'm like, what? what? To me, I'm just like on a very like simple. My facial really re- expression should say it all. Right, it right, doesn't. Right, my thing though, it doesn't require much conversation or confusion. My like to me, it's very simple. Like, well, you can't have a baby, so you can't be a female. Like, mm. I don't want to make it too confusing because I think about it like with my son. I'm like, I don't. I can't imagine. Like, I want to be very clear. Like, look, that's that. You know, she has a vagina. Or, so that's that's a woman. Like, that's how it goes. Like, no, we gotta there, leave room. Like, oh no, he, he's a free thinker. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> he's a free thinker. Yeah, that's the next thing. He, what is a free thinker? I don't know, man. What the hell does that mean? It's, it's an expression. Hmm. What is it? I, I have heard about that. Oh, he's so he's he, so open. Let him free and be open. And I'm like, wait, no, 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 no. You want him to open? I don't want him to open at all. The only thing I'm gonna open in his chest. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm gonna open up. <laughs> hey, my man Steph is on his uh, he on his uh, old. Sp- he didn't see the Gillette commercial apparently. Oh, about Steph. toxic masculinity. He's talking about 
opening <laughs> up his son's chest and oh, and being man. tough on him. Being you know what? Him, man. Hey, I mean, mean you know what's the funny thing too though is that a lot of the people that are pushing this like quote unquote toxic masculinity, this dress shit, a lot of our sisters, sisters are pushing that. A lot of sisters co-sign this shit. I don't know why they do. But this is my thing though. They co-sign shit and then on the back end they give us shit for the backlash of it. So like mm. on the front end they'll say like we need to co-sign and support all kinds of softness and this soft culture and all this shit like that and then what happens on the back end when they get their ass whooped mm. they be like well who gotta protect us <gasps> oh who's who's here for where is that all dude the, so let me tell you this let me, this, so, so let me go back to this. let me go back to the dude's address so the dude's address is gonna save you from, from getting from, <laughs> that's the nigga that's gonna get your, your butt whooped out here fam. Hey, get hey, out of here you know what it is remember you ever see that, that, that you ever see that Instagram video that super bitch shit with the yeah. nigga with the I think I think everybody thinks that that's the real life. Like people think that some super strong transsexual gay. Now there are some cases where there are gay niggas that's whooping ass and all that. I'm sure. Whatever. I don't. Well, I'm I sure. Don't care. But listen, but still, listen. Still, you at the end of the day, you. Uh, that's, not the that's not. That's probably not the top that's choice of the nigga that you want to protect you. I'm just saying his dress might get in the way. He's gonna mm. think about other shit. I don't know, like, but that's what I mean though. Like, I'm so irritated. Why are with you the supporting fact. that? Yeah, you support shit on the front end, and then in the back end when it bites us in the ass, right. then we're like, well, where are the straight black men at? Why are all these men? Why are these? There's so many single women, and we don't have. Well, the straight black men like us don't put no energy into that. You know what I'm saying? But then you get hate for it. Then that means yeah, that yeah. I'm, I'm not paying homophobic. attention to it like YouTube and and oh, um, 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 I'm homophobic and all this. I'm like, look, oh, no, no, don't give me that bull crap. Seriously, Bro. women, women, y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop this right now, please, please. They're not, they're not trying to hear that. They're not trying to hear, man. And that's the problem. You know with the ears. You know what's funny? I'm literally I'm on Facebook right now, and the and I just see your, I see a post that you made. About um, leadership, mm-hmm. about mm-hmm. men being taught to lead, mm-hmm. and that's a real that's a real issue facing our community. And I kind of right. touched on that multiple times, but I think that's an issue. I said I don't say I think I know that's an issue because men do not know how to lead, and right. women don't know what leadership what is. What leadership is? <laughs> so, they never seen it in their life. Yeah, they create all kinds. They could they could have a dad at home with his with his with, with, with wife with with the mom there, and still don't see leadership. Not at all. Think about that. No, no, no. Think about that. Not at all. You know what I'm saying? But that even speaks to the leadership that they saw in the house. Maybe right. the leadership was. Maybe the leadership was a little the level three. Yeah. It wasn't level fifteen to yeah. what you wanted, what you expected. That's you know the thing, niggas. In the world of my boy Patrice O'Neill, niggas got infinite levels. Right. <laughs> a real, nigga, a real nigga has infinite levels. Man. So that's that's real leadership is key. And I think again, people do not see that. So that's why all these different myths and ideas of masculinity and ideas of black men get created in the media, or even relationships black relationships get created because i think about it like this i said like my parents argued a lot <laughs> you right. know my parents argued they fought yeah. and all this shit like that but they're married they came right. home they love each other but then i also used to think about well in relation to all my other aunts and uncles my other cousins their parents i mean i hardly ever see my parents were known to be arguing the argumentative right. parents right. but for the most part my family and stuff you know especially in front of people or stuff they were kind of keep it chill they all married to this yeah. day we had one person i had one aunt that's divorced Everybody in my family, for the most Ooh. part, stuck it out. They together. See, they see, you see, and it is different in my family. My family, from my mom's side, everybody is divorced, and and from my dad's side, yeah, everybody's divorced as well. Gosh. But but at the same time, you gotta think about it too. They, I have to say, they were going on maybe 30, 35 years strong marriage though. Was it no like ten? Yeah. So you, you know paid what I'm your saying? dues. You, you paid your dues. That's you know a, what I'm saying? House your loan. kids grown. Shit, Thirty years. That's yeah. A, yeah, yeah, 35 to 30, but you would think, but, like, why, right? I mean, this is the thing, too, though. In a functional, what I'm talking about as mm-hmm. far as family, yeah. I mean, it sounds, I would hope that they would stay together till they died, death yeah, part, right, but right. in the function of what they needed to do for their kids and mm-hmm. give that structure in that household, that's what they did. Yeah. So even then, you can, I'm not, like, you, you, did, your time, job. you, know you did your job. You did your job. Like, I wish more people had that mindset of, like, you know, they try to make it, like, shit down on, like, sticking together for the kids and things like that, but, like, that's why it should be 
on the front end we kind of going off but on the front end you should kind of value the person that you're sleeping with right. that way you kind of have a real reason to stick with it yeah. outside of the kids a lot of people nowadays is getting pregnant by people Ooh, that's just, just in the streets here, man. Like, bang, bang, I heard a, bang, bang. I found a wild stat and I'm trying to I'm trying to find every way to just confirm this shit but there's the wild st- stats about how much more like stats. black men there are without children than there are black women without children mm. So this is just a whole community of wild shit right now, is, bro. Is it just because that? Well, I'm, I'm one of those black men. You're running it. You let me not say this is another thing too, man. Because <laughs> they were par- they were painted out to be like a black man without a kid. Yeah, is such a rare oh, thing. Oh, I mean, I, it, it I, is, I have my slip ups now. It is a rare thing. You know, it is. Oh, this nigga's wilding. Hey, you look, might have a kid in Cuba. No, no, no. I'm, I'm no, not saying that. I'm, I'm just saying that it could have happened in Ecuador. You know what I'm saying? But it didn't happen. But so listen, go. I'm saying for what. For whatever reason, as much as we know, Stefano had no kid running around here. Right, right, so, right, right. So this is what Lord, I'm saying. Not like my daddy. Oh, 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 oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> this, hey, I'm saying, fam, my pops might have some beliefs. Right, hey, right. But this is what I'm saying, though. When it comes to when it comes to um when it comes to like the the kid issue, like yeah. I think so many like a lot of my friends honestly do not have kids. Right. Like a bunch of my homies, especially like growing up too. A bunch of my friends don't have kids, but like I remember ten years ago or shit, eight years ago when I was dating, what shit, almost ten years ago, when I was back single, bro, I feel like every woman I was getting into had a kid. Yeah, it, it, it it's weird because like a hundred percent girls that I know, let's uh, let's just say, yeah, I would say. 75 to 85 maybe in, in that range whatever have kids and the complete opposite i'm talking about complete opposite the other way around maybe 30 percent of is dudes it? that i know you know what the stat is why is it that you say 30 percent i'm saying i'm with look the quote-unquote official stat is 40 percent of Get black of men don't have kids that is crazy that's like, crazy bro. like like the, I, I can say that and then but, but you know, but the thing about the stat too is interesting because you think about it. Think about how many of the men that we know ooh, that don't have kids. Man, it, I mean, it's it's astounding numbers. But the men saying? that do though, and this and is the thing. Do, this, this is the thing. This is the trick. This yeah. is the crux. And this is why I'm. This whole episode, this whole show, we're just gonna say whatever we want. We're gonna be very honest and just mm-hmm. keep it real. These women are getting pregnant by the same man. Right. Think about it, bro. Most a bunch of these men that are pregnant, like the women that I know that are baby mamas, the man that got them pregnant has another kid with another woman. Right. These this man is getting the same women pregnant, and that's the stereotype that we live with based on the same nigga. Tell me I'm wrong, bro. It's the same nigga, bro. And they're trying to make it seem like every black man out here is running around with his mm. dick out, busting and everything. No, no, no. Boy. It's niggas out here look, look, with real look, standards. I, look, uh, in that thirty percent, I know that. That, that have 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 kids whatever uh it's like it, it's structured and it's something it's not structured you know what i'm saying but at the same time like you go the other way oh my god the structure is just simply wild you know what i'm saying and, and, and as a man as as me not having kids i wouldn't want to take on that Snigga, that's it can we talk you know about saying? it can we talk about it let's be very again we're gonna be honest this episode a lot of men bro a lot as a as a young married man myself uh-huh. With a child, with a young man, who love, with a young boy, I love my family. It's best. But I will say, I meet so many young men in my job, at work, wherever, in life, who are so like they see what is like they want a family. They want to be. They want a wife or a, a, a stable, stable household or a kid, all this other stuff. Right. But they do not want to sacrifice and deal with what it takes to get that shit. Yeah. And the fact that a man feels like he has to go through bullshit to get a family in today's society well, is a problem. And that's why a lot of men are opting out from having kids. A lot yeah. of men are saying, I'm not getting married. A lot of men are saying, I'm not trying to have kids. None of that kind right. of shit. And I can't say that I don't, I can't understand or I, I blame them. Like, it makes sense, fam. Why would, if you think about it, let's be honest. As a married man myself, I can say, if I, if my wife chose to, let's be mm-hmm. honest, 
She could take me to the white man's court system. Oh yeah, she she is ass. she is gonna car my loan thirty eight, <laughs> ten, and yo, twelve. Yo, right? Easy, <laughs> easy post work though. Fam. All she post work. Gonna, she's giving me MVP numbers. Easy work, fam. In the in the court system, <laughs> yeah, bro. I, I have a friend who his his wife. Nah, and again, I'll keep everybody listening. But his woman, she had to. First of all, she didn't have no job. This woman was in and out of jail. She had a jail record. Mm. She's literally like a psychopath. Mm. At one point earlier in her life, she was like, I think almost prostitute or some shit. Mm. So all this shit, bro, it wasn't until he had on video that this woman is a psych, like a schizophrenic wreck to the point now that like, she's like, just like way out there. But I'm thinking like mm. the court system sided with her and gave him and the judge straight out told her, I don't believe you. I think you're lying. And mm. gave the kid off the then he came back with the proof and then it was all fixed. My thing is this though, this woman was crazy. Imagine if she would have hurt his child. It had to take for all that situation for him to get that chase. For them to just rule fairly. Right. That's the system that men is up against uh, men are up against. And people don't people want to say like, oh men, black men are soft and you want to dodge responsibility and That's all that kind of shit I like this. I hate when women say that, you know what I'm saying? Bro. Like, black, men is, what, uh, black men are soft and all that. I'm like, what? Like, come on, fam. Come on now. There's so I mean, every man is up against that same system as far as marriage and kind of shit like that we mm. have to deal with in America and, and that thing. But the thing about it is is that in our community we know and we have to acknowledge that the government has been the black woman some black oh, women's yeah. man yeah for a while yeah, the crutches right? so when, when we <laughs> know chair. when we have to acknowledge that and we say okay well the government has specifically we can say lyndon b johnson and all these programs on poverty and right, all, that. all these getting all, all that all these programs that have started with him to, to to today's world to to all these social programs that nowadays essentially Exchange the black man with the government. Ooh. So when you exchange the black man with the I'm government, already on the under. You exchange the black man with the government, and then you also you discur you say, look, ma'am, if your man is acting up, mm. you could take his ass to the court system, all. and then look, who's gonna be your new man to take care of you when you decide to cavalierly dish that old man for whatever reason? Right. I'm here for you. I'm your government. Check is mm. gonna be there on the Check first. Check gonna be there, but we, you know, just government gonna be there. <laughs> But they don't want order like that. It's always that's the thing. something else. That's the like, thing, bro. A lot of and you speaking on it. You speaking. You saying the truth because I realize that a lot of the issues that face our community on both ends is the fact that we all fight and run away from order. And a lot of us, not to say me, you, all of you know, we're not all perfect. But a lot of us that grew up in a household with like men. We understand structure, and structure. and this is the thing. I'm not gonna say, look, I know there's women out there and all this kind of stuff like that, and strong, independent women. And I get it, but men and women all have their different functions. Right. My dad, I, I lived in a household with my mom and my dad when he was the head, and then when my father passed when I was 15, my mom took over. Right. I seen when my mom had to be that role, right. the difference. Yeah. It's a, it was a comp my mom is a beast. She right. handled it. She did the best she can. My sister, me, my sister, we grown. My sister's at UCLA. I'm out the house we good my thing is this though the pressure and the way that she handled it was much different because the expectation she always was like right. oh i wish i had a man to deal with this like i don't want to do it like i feel like i, I shouldn't have to deal with I this shouldn't have to deal or with my father stress. when he did have to deal with whatever the stress was he understood that that was his job so it wasn't yeah. like a situation where it's like oh woe I'm is me pressure to do, yeah. do everything it was like take, it was to him it was like it's like complaining about taking out the trash like nigga that's your right. job <laughs> like why are you complaining about going to your job like right. that's what you have to do just like my mom's job was what her job was in the household to making sure he was good she would iron his clothes or make sure he was fed all that kind of shit like that mm -hmm. and she worked her job too but she just had a respect for the order and the masculine principle and I think that's a lot of things. That's a big portion of what we don't see in today's world. Even women that grow up in households with their father don't have respect for men and the oh, masculine principle. Of course, you know, because they see it from different, from other other individuals, whatever. But then they just they just do it to their own. So they do what the hell they want to do. You know what I'm saying? They do what the fuck they want. They do, do what they want to do, and they get emotion by it. You know what I'm saying? And continuously do what they want to do, and then and then when they get one that that. Is it's kind of to that level, you know what I'm saying, and, and they and they still do what they want to do <laughs> after the fact, <laughs> and it's, it's ridiculous. That's the thing. This is the thing about I do see that a lot, and I only honestly see that in our community is that our women, honestly, bro, and this sounds very I know this is gonna sound misogynist. Mm. People are gonna say, Why are you trying to get a woman to do? But let's be honest, fam, 
Uh, the 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 enmity the the beef the issue that you see between men and women you don't see that shit in other communities for the most like I can't they they, they, they either hide it I mean uh, I, they, I I think they hide it more but, I'm sure they you know have the saying? issues yeah of course oh, because, but it's just not that's my thing though like yeah. black men and women have issues for years right like again like do do no black has no black man abused a black woman of course black of course. men throughout history have abused black women right. has no black woman abused black men Ooh, we of, got that too of course Seriously. like that's that these are black people these are people right. on a on a on a fundamental basis on a fundamental basis first before we go anything else right but then in 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 social media and online everything gets switched and turned into like well when a black person does it that's characteristic of who they are. <laughs> like, if, no. a, if a black man is a sexual abuser, i.e. R. Kelly, then Ooh. black men are sexual abusers. All of them. All. But I just think it's funny that the mindset that a lot of quote unquote straight, let me not say quote unquote, but a lot of the mindset that straight black men have, for the most part, are naturally protective. Like, we want to take care of our family, our household, our, our, our women, and things like that. A lot of the men that I know that are in relationships, again, will die for their woman in, if it came down to it. So a lot of the men, a lot of, I think we have that that yearning to, to, to be there, but on the other end, we don't have a yearning to protect what we can't control <laughs> like at all. Think about this. A woman will say, a woman will say, you can't tell me what to do. I can wear what the fuck I want to wear. Ooh. Like, like I can go out here and see a female, for example, in some tights and like some. Like I was at Ralph's the other day, bro, and this female came in with some tights. Oh, well, I'm not like, gonna talk about that. This yo. is pornographic. I told wifey, I had. To, I'm like, look, I gotta uh. confess, this is ridiculous, bro. <laughs> like this is pornographic, fam. There's so much ass tights, all kind of shit in the store. And then she'll look at me wild if she turns around and I'm and she sees me looking at the ass. Like she'll look it's at me like him out. Yeah, she'll look what at me want like me oh. to do as a man. Oh my You know God. what I'm saying? Oh my God. as a man, you out here in the store or whatever, bending over products and doing all this other stuff, you know what I'm saying? You out here in the you think what you think is a okay, no one's gonna look at me. Yes, we're gonna look at you. Of course. They know that shit too. Come on. They, they know that they, they, they know the games we play. We can't even go to the store no more. My thing is that I just can't understand how they don't understand how when we say, look, you probably shouldn't have all that ass out in the, and the bottom of the titties Come hanging out the bottom because then you might attract the wrong attention. That same woman to tell me, shit, nigga, shut the fuck up. You ain't my daddy. You can't tell right. me a goddamn thing, nigga. I'm a grown ass motherfucking woman. Motherfucker. It's, it's, I kind of my it's own girls dickhead. in Target right now but, with the short, 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 short on and it's seven o'clock. Prime time. Seven o'clock. You out here with short, short, short. Come on. Look, I'm not trying to dick police or pussy police. My thing is this, though. That same woman will tell me I don't have the right to comment on her, yeah. but... When she gets in a rough situation, maybe when a man so sees all that ass her. out, then I'm supposed to slide. It. Then when the shit hits the fan, you didn't take my instruction, then I'm supposed to protect. You. Like I don't understand the mindset. Like for my sister, my sister, my wife, my sister is under my protection. I tell you, you know, obviously forever. But uh, you know, when her, she gets her man, then that's gonna be primarily his out of pair protection. But my sister cannot consistently defy what I tell her to do and mm. still. Like that's not realistic. Come on, she that that protection comes with the respect of my instructions. Like mm. if I say like, hey, I don't think it's a good idea for you to be so and so because that's a rough neighborhood, you know, gangs over there, whatever the just case be. Just general, just don't go out like that. You got, you got, and you take what I advise. If she then turns around and says, nah, fuck that. I'm gonna do what I want to do. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Okay, what do you expect from me to think? I mean. Now, in the case is, look, of course, I'm still going to hop out there and things like that. But when we talk about the average every day, this is my sister. Of course, I'm still going to, you know, yeah. get my taken on. Get my Liam Neeson, quote, unquote. <laughs> Shouldn't say that right now. But oh. and we talking about a regular woman on the street. I'm supposed to feel that same, like, hop out and Superman vibe. Like, nah, and You in heels out here with the, with the, with the two, uh, two zipper dress, you know what I'm saying? You out here walking, whatever this is that, or or walking to your car, or even in the store, whatever. You better be with a gang of girls and y'all like y'all like all dressed up. Like I understand that, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all about to go to go somewhere, you know. But but you just out here, uh, uh, 
you 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 come fresh from work, whatever, or something like that, or or fresh from whatever the hell you was doing, fam. I just, I, feel, I just feel like it's a tripping. I feel like it's a big disconnect as far as you know, especially like black men. Like, and I get it because if I was single, bro, I would feel the same way. If I was single, I'm seeing a lot of like the situation from. A, there are black men that do. Yes, you know, we like ass and twerk and all that kind of shit like that. But there are black men that, as far as like settling down, like we do get tired of seeing all the time every ratchet shit. Like, damn, sometimes like, you know, keep it, keep it chill sometimes. Like, you know, keep it conservative. We kind of want a woman sometimes to, to not have all the ass out all the time. Maybe we give us something that we can leave to the imagination right. one, one or two times. But I think that kind of like all this shit is like all a big portion of the issues that we face. And I think like, like again, when it comes to like how we value each other, like I think one of the things when we see each other, when we see black women all the time, I mean, I say all the time, but when we do see what gets propagated, right. black women half naked and talking about their pussy and shit like that, then obviously, you know, black men start feeling a certain type of way. Like, yeah, twerk that asshole. Right, right, right. right. You know, like that's how niggas feel like. But then they'll say like, well, black men put that woman to In objectify her. But I'm like, well, what? As this podcast goes further, we're going to talk into the real influence that put that black oh, woman, oh, that put that black man in place to put that black woman. Oh, oh, oh. I, I, we're going to touch on that later. But just for this, just for this, you know, for the purpose of what we're talking about now, like we just have to all acknowledge the situation, fam. We all have to acknowledge the, the situation and stop being selfish. When it comes to like the black man and woman relationship, I really feel like there's no hope. Ooh, to be honest with you, the married man. Hope, man. I feel like there's no hope, hope, bro, because I think what would have to happen is that it would have to get to a point of so much brokenness and destruction in the community for them to it's, feel like they just, need us. I don't know, man. It's like it's like right now they don't eye, need eye contact like that. Like I see you here. Like a lot, a lot of a lot of black black couples that I know that are married, whatever, they got that eye to eye, and. You know, and that's and I like that that's close around me because all my homies, the closer the closer ones that's homie, that's homie, whatever has that has that vibe with their with their wives. You know what I'm saying? So, and then I seen that from another level with family and even either or, but it, you know what I'm saying? Like like we we can do it now. It's just that the women right now for some reason. Oh, we could. I, I, I don't know. Like, no, they're, they're making it hard yeah. on us. Yeah. Seriously, they really are. Bro, this is my thing. I can't say that it's impossible. It's not impossible. Because honestly, it's only a mindset. It's only the mindset because... Why do you think we as the black black men goes to that other race? That's or? See, now that's the thing, bro. <laughs> Early on, and I, I, I feel like I changed... I changed my that must have changed my stance. My stance is still the same on this. I would say I became more understanding as far as that frustration why men. Now the men that do go the other race for that reason, because there are some niggas who default come off this put the porch looking for a white girl. That's a different story. Right. But then there are men who could like I could honestly Eat. 